and the idea of imagery, the idea of ki'i. What does it all mean? Where are we going with this? Okay. In fact, most of the people go, oh, um, what are you going to make? <laughs> what are you going to put in there? To me, if you understand your past, you should be able to put something together in the present so the future will have a better stepping stone for the next generation to come. Your work never ends because, again, if that was your job as, a, as those who bear the culture, the responsibility, the kuleana of being who you say you are, you know, I've been that for 30 years, not only as an artist, I do illustrate, I do draw. That was my, my fun and game. That's what I taught myself to understand. Looking at our culture, then realizing the importance of how to create these kinds of imagery. Just to give you an idea that every heiau had over a hundred kiis, a hundred images, named after famous ancestor, one of mine, Kapukamola. This is Haumea, the earth goddess, quote unquote, the earth mother, but she is the maker of all land things. Her sisters are Hina, the moon, um, Pele of the volcano, so, so that's her sister, see, all elemental. They're talking about nature in itself, something that we take for granted when we as human beings, we can knock down a mountain, we can dig up a harbor, we can do everything to nature, but you know, we don't realize that it's damaging for the future. So basically, this is where I'm at, evolving. Your work should evolve too, just like your mind and your spirit, it has to evolve.